So run me through it. What are we going to do? Oh, well, when the water's charging down through here, it's surging across in that direction in the high flow. So the leading edge of our uh, structural wall will be on a bit of an angle that, that goes in that direction. And what we've got to our advantage is this is solid here. This is what this is a good. It's not only de-energising the rock, but it's something that we can key our structure into. Yeah, so our structure is going to run across to the base of that lamandra over there. It'll be in this sort of angled direction like that. So any water that comes surging through here will bounce off it and go in that direction. So. And I, at a guess, we're going to make something that's probably about yay high. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll, we'll key it in between here and the similar one on the other side over there. So if we can make this structure about yay high, you can see how you'll get your 600 mil over there. So when I said about 600 mil, we're going to be probably around about this sort of height. Wow, that's a lot actually. Yeah. Okay. And what that'll do, see that undercut over there on the bank? Just where this pipe's running down into the water, right? it's just in front of me here. Mm -hmm. That undercut, that's, that's eroding out when we're getting, getting um, the first flush coming through. When we put that underwater, it won't erode anymore. So we're fixing the erosion in this pond as well. That bank over there, we should be able to harvest material off the back of it because most of that should end up underwater as well. So some of that material we can, some of that material we can take down and put behind the structure. What kind of material? That sandy gravel bank, just on that. Yeah. So this is the um, the old pump well, and the water level that's down in there at the moment would be the same as the water level over there in the river. Like it ought to be very close to it anyway. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll just put a plumb bob on the end of a string line so we can get an idea of fairly simply, just when, it, when we see it hit the water, we'll tie it off and then um, leave it in there for a few days. We should see that um, corresponding you know, it should correspond to the level of the water that we bring up in the river. Yeah. Creek. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fantastic. I love this stuff. So simple to make just oh. massive changes.